exciting. I'm very excited about this show tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Should we start it? I think we should. Around the bag. I take a group of people, I ask them questions, and we become friends. Tell everybody all about you. Got out of the market with lemon juice, Philadelphia cream cheese. Question is, how do you like your eggs? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, the tighter, the better. From your own daydreams and fantasies as well. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for Around the Bag? Uh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Welcome to Around the Bag, a game show, a talk show, where I invite my friends over to my house virtually, and I get them to vie for my love. Tonight, we've got Mick Bettencourt. He's here. We've got Leah Kinnar. She's here. And also, Josh Goldman. He is here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. I hope you have a great time on the show. And welcome to all those at home. Let's play now. Mick, tell everybody all about you. Thanks, Ian. Nice to be here. My name is Mick Betancourt. I'm a stand-up comedian, and during the day, I write murder TV. Ah, my God. Your wife must love you. Leah, tell us all about you. Hey, it's truly an honor to be here. I did not come here to make friends, but I did come here to make a best friend. Ah. Um, I am a witch and an actress, and I have the podcast Basic Witches. Basic Witches. She's a witch and an actress, therefore she is booking without even having to audition. Josh, tell everybody all about you. Hi, I am a comedian and a television writer. I work for Jesus and Marrow on Showtime, oh. formerly of Last Week Tonight with John Oliver on HBO. Right. And uh, from my general smiley nature, you would not guess that I'm from Boston. Oh my, God. I would <laughs> never thought I would that. not. Mm -mm. Holy shit. You must beat people. You must beat people when they come over to your house or something. Because oh yeah, people, you were angry. <laughs> keep oh. it all inside and then let it out in horrible bursts. <laughs> sweet as shit. <laughs> hell, and that is not the Boston I know and love. Mm -hmm. right. Just lean out your window and yell at somebody black for me. That'll make me feel like <laughs> I'm Boston. Oh my God! Let's start it up, guys. I start with this question every week, and people get upset about it, but I'm going to do it again. How do you like your coffee? Let's start out with Leah. Hot and in my mouth. Oh, my goodness. Mick, how do you like your coffee? Upside down, a little half and half, too splendor. Oh, very nice. Keep it tight. Josh, how do you like your coffee? Iced coffee all year round. Uh, just a relentless commitment to being uncomfortable. Oh, my God. Uh, where do you get your iced coffee from? Are you one of those uh, fancy pants? Or are you, uh, I'm, a, I'm Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. Now, uh, now he's from Boston. The Boston comes out, yeah. Yeah, he just said, I don't give a shit. They know how to overcharge. Anyways, I'll do it for them. <laughs> I want to give you a 349. That's a medium iced coffee at the old ah, Dunkin' Donut. Mick, I don't know how much yours is. I'll give you 499 because it seems more expensive than his, even Ooh. though it's not the same price. Leah, hot and blah. What did you say? Hot and in your mouth, something just like in that. In my mouth, yeah. In your mouth. My God, that's worth a thousand points. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Right there, hot and in your mouth. She's out front right now. <laughs> my goodness. I'm pretty sure. I I'm also drink coffee with my mouth. Mouth. I'm not doing it like an enema. But you didn't say that. You That's didn't true. Say That's that. fair. Nope. You're right. You're right. I should have specified. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I also use my mouth, not my butthole. <laughs> I've, just been, I've just been a THC donor. I think I've been a THC donor. I don't know what he is. Ian Bag has top tier crowd work. Hopefully, this is just as funny. Hey, fuck you, man. Just have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. You don't come, if, you, if you came here for my stand-up, you're, you're at the wrong place. This is a, just a fun time I have with friends who try to become my best friend. Guys, here we go. Here's the next question. This is for guys and girls. I'm going to start out with Mick. How do you make a good movie? What makes a good movie? Like, I know how you go see a movie. Usually they're shit, but what makes a really good movie? What makes a good movie? That took me 10 times to get it out. What makes a good question is what I should ask. I think a good... I like it hot and in my mouth. Ah, <laughs> my Don't we all? <laughs> the movie is hot and in my mouth. Perfect. 1,000 points. <laughs> what, what, makes a, what makes a good movie? I feel like you start with Nicolas Cage, you get him to share his dream journal with you, and then you have him star in whatever he's been dreaming lately. Oh, that is a mm. good point right there. Ah, He will make a good movie, but he will not save any of the money. Leo, what makes a good movie? Three things make a good movie. Plot, soundtrack, Adam Driver. Oh, God. You know what? You got uh, head lead guys going head to head. You got the Adam Driver and you got the old, the old Nicolas Cage. I think both are ugly. That's what I, that's what I think about that. So I'm going to go and make hot and in my mouth. Zero points for Josh. Zero <laughs> points for Leah. 1,000 points for Mick. My God. 
I like this. I'm not, he has not roasted me live in LA on, and on Twitch. I love this man. All right, that's good. This show's back on. We got a Twitch guy. Just a good- <laughs> right there. Oh my God. Hey guys, here's a nice question. And I'm going to tell you a little bit story about it. So on Friday night, I did some shows down in San Diego and then I came back and I was up a little late and all of a sudden my ring went off on my phone and somebody was trying to break into my car. My God, ring tells me they're breaking into my car. So I get on the ring and I say, hey, get the fuck away from my car. That's what I said. And then I ran outside. I ran downstairs and I forgot my phone. So I came back up to get my phone. And then I ran back downstairs. I was calling the cops to come get the guy. And then I had to run back up because I couldn't remember my address. I was having fight or flight go on like you wouldn't believe. When was the last time you had fight or flight, Josh? I guess it's... um. For me, it's usually less of a fight or flight than it is diarrhea or not. And the the most recent time I experienced my diarrhea or not response was uh-huh. I had like a, a cream-based pasta and then an ice cream for dessert. And I was like, oh, right, I'm 35 and my body isn't made to handle that back to back. The doctor responded to that. Oh, that is crazy. I get the shit too. You're crazy. Uh, Leah? My dog's having a fight or flight response right now. Um, Honestly, I had one when you were when you were telling that question. It got my anxiety going. So clearly, I stayed. Do you actually have anxiety? Hello, you there? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, you do. My God, that dog does too. You guys should both have (laughs) anxiety. Calm down right now, Mitch. Tell us your last fight or flight. I was at the uh, Improv in L.A. sitting. on one of those high top bar tables and someone was tapping my stool. It was late at night at whatever the midnight show was. So I kindly uh, turned around and asked the person sitting behind me to please stop uh, tapping on the stool. And they said, fuck off. And they lunged forward a little bit. And I flipped this uh, table over and I started kicking them in a, in a, in a fight adrenaline dump. And then I paused because I realized that's an inappropriate thing to do. And then there was this weird beat of silence. And then, Patrick Keen said from the stage, uh, Mick, will you please stop punching the audience? <laughs> <laughs> I was like Forrest Gump when I was like, I'm sorry, I ruined your Black Panther party. Like I just had to walk out all ashamed with like my head down. <laughs> I love Patrick Keen, but he does not need any distractions while he's on stage. That's what I'm gonna do right now. He's like, Mick, would you get beating up the people that are fighting right now? My God, that's that's awesome. I'm gonna give you some points. I'm gonna give you 17 points. Leah, I'm gonna give you a lot of points because you just showed everybody you have a dog. I'm gonna give you 17 plus 25. That's 38. No, it isn't. It's 40 something. Who cares? That's how I'll many take points. all of it. And Josh, I love it. You had cake and cream and pasta yeah. all in one night, just going against all the ways. He said, I don't care. I work on TV. I'll eat what I want. I'm going to give you a hundred million points right there. Yeah. Yeah. This is a That's very great. close game right now. This is a very close game. Guys, here's the next question. Have you ever been to a nude beach? Let's start out with Josh. I have not been to a nude beach. Uh, I've been to uh I, I feel like when I'm at a nude beach, I am i don't like it because I'm the one that they go, uh, it's never who you want to be nude. So mm-hmm. I stick to the clothed beaches. We're all on an even playing field. Uh, I think was a, everybody's on an even playing field at a nude beach as well. <laughs> you're naked. You're very comfortable. It's very... <laughs> Mick, have you ever been to a nude beach? I've never been to a nude beach. I shot a horrible, I will not say what the production is, show there. And we had a giant jib cam and there was a naked guy with an intentional 69, which he told everybody, piercings on bag and junk and he kept on trying to sneak into the shot like walking sideways like this totally naked and it sounded like a bag of change clinking with all of the piercings going on like dude you're not sneaking into anywhere <laughs> you're butt naked with 60 I, think I speak for Leah and Josh what were you shooting what were you shooting at a nude beat just out of curiosity what was the show I was shooting uh, a national lampoon strip poker show Ah, mm. ah, very nice. Very yeah. nice. those people do a lot of cocaine, so that's nothing not of them, Rosa. Leah, <laughs> yeah, nude beach. Yes, um, I'm on the other spectrum as Josh. Everyone wants to see me naked, so I don't want anyone to see me naked. Um, so I mainly go to Black's Beach in San Diego, which is uh, gay. Oh, so you know, everybody can see you, but they don't care to. Right. They want to be you. 
but they don't want to be around you. I like Maybe. that style. That is fantastic. I'm going to give Josh a lot of points on that. I'm going to give 105 to Josh. I'm going to give Mick 98 because he was almost a Josh, but then he ruined a guy's sack and taint. Mm. With piercing. My mom loves tonight's show. And then there's Leah. Everybody wants to see me naked, but not everybody gets to. <laughs> I like it. We'll give you 69 <laughs> <laughs> hey! Nobody had to get one on that. Oh my god! Hey guys, who's the biggest bitch in Hollywood? That's my question right there. Who's the biggest bitch in Hollywood? There's a lot of complainers out there, both sides, left and right. I want to know who you think the biggest bitch in Hollywood is. Mm. I don't know. I just uh, what's this Chris Pratt tragedy that's happening? Yes. Topical. That seems a little weird. That. I mean, I can't even get my head around that. It seems like some other cast members were getting hazed, and no one, uh, no one rose up, and then he gets worst of the Chris's. And I didn't even know something happened to Chris Pratt. My I God, I fell into that that Twitter trending black hole, and then <laughs> ah yes, you want to have fun, and then you don't want to have fun. It's fine, Josh. Who do you think it is? I know you don't want to get involved because you work for them. A lot of look, those. Look, yeah, people. look, I don't want to. I don't want to rock the boat. Lassie, huge bitch. <laughs> Every dog who's ever played Lassie, mm -hmm. one of the top bitches in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. oh, my goodness. Oh, that is a good answer. By the way, uh, welcome, Kevin Boltz. He just finally flies in. Caravan to Black Beach. Somebody else is going to see a naked that they're gay. Just to yes. see. By the way, Lassie will be down there showing off how much of a bitch she is. Good answer, Josh. I like that. <laughs> Mick just threw in, uh, he threw Chris Pratt under the bus, and then he <laughs> probably not Chris Pratt. Leah, you're a witch. Who do you think the biggest bitches in Hollywood? Gary Busey. Oh, very nice. I seen him once on a plane, but we were at the in Vancouver at the airport, and he was just leaning out the window taking pictures at the airport <laughs> of the plane. I'm like, all right, that's I guess that's that was enough right there. That's enough. Mm -hmm. uh, Gary of himself? Uh, uh, no, not of himself. Just of of the of the tarmac. That was the weirdest part about it. Like oh, they're parked way too close to the gate. That's what he was saying. Something like that. I got Josh. We're going to give you K9. K is, I don't know what number in the alphabet. We'll go seven. 79 points. Mick, you get this through Chris Pratt under the bus for no apparent reason. Minus 50. Leo, I'm going to give you what the hell. Gary Busey hasn't had that much attention in a while. 52. Yes. Let's continue on. Continue on. It's a very good game right now. So far, a lot of people mm. are having a good time. Oh, my. Uh, he says, this guy came in and he didn't like the game. And then he said, I love the game. That answer was so unexpected. Thank you, PHC. I love the fact that you're here tonight. <laughs> having a lot of fun. Hey, guys. What's something you should have tried harder at that would make your life easier today? We've all not tried at something. And then later on in life, we go, you know what? I should have probably tried harder at that. Mm. What should you Leah, what should you have tried harder at that would have helped your life today? Um, social skills. <laughs> <laughs> Eric <laughs> Miller said anal. Yeah, you know, he's, he's, right, he's right on the game. He's, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, social, you're not very good at social skills? No, I am really good. But yep. now I feel like I don't really need them anymore because we're all on our computers. So I feel like I spent too much time on that. Oh, well, you've spent too much time. See, the question was, what should you have tried harder? See, just turn it around. Social skills aren't good. Yeah, my goodness, you're you're like an autistic kid. I'll just answer whatever the fuck I feel. That, that was awesome. <laughs> Mick, what should have you tried harder at? And if you don't feel like answering that, just make up a new question. Yes. I feel like I should have tried harder in church. Oh. <laughs> you feel that would. <laughs> Oh, apparently you've moved to the South and now you believe. That I is feel like I should have paid attention to some of those things instead of stealing everything that wasn't nailed down. Mm, my God, you're just being Catholic. That's what the Catholics did. Josh, oh, I made the whole screen bigger. I don't know how I did that, but we'll make it smaller. There we go. Josh, what should you have tried harder at? So far, it's I mean, been like I shouldn't have tried harder. And one said <laughs> you tried harder religion. So what do you think you're going to go with? I should have tried harder at fucking around. You can tell by my face. I was a big nerd when I was a kid and then until now and currently and into the future. And <laughs> I should have just like tried harder at goofing off and having fun when I was a kid because I feel like nobody uh, gives a shit about my high school GPA now. <laughs> hey, Josh, I would love to know what your high school GPA was. Leah, this feels like a trap, but I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness! Look at that! Look at that. Uh, decorating your apartment. Oh, Wayne just taking everybody down for a moment. Yes. Decorating. I your did. I had stuff on my wall, but I took it down earlier because I was shooting a thing for work and we couldn't get clearances for the images. So now I look like this is my first day of being divorced. Aww. <laughs> It. it gets better. Nick isn't far behind you, just to let you know. He's just got that. He's got his bath mat on him. <laughs> yeah, she's just been taking stuff from guys because she's a witch. My God, uh, I'm gonna give. Uh, I'm gonna give you all five points. Everybody gets five points on that. I like that answer. That was very nice. Even though Leah didn't even play along with the game, she just changed it to whatever she wanted. My God, here we go. Here comes the next question. Which word do you have the most problem spelling? I would say from what I've seen on the internet, America struggles with you are. That's why. <laughs> so I want to know. And which, that isn't a word. That's two words, but you can put them together with a little dash over there. Just let everybody know. And that is one word. And they want to use your. They want to use your. They want to own it. But I struggle with a lot of words. But I think you guys don't. I think you only struggle with one. What mm. word do you struggle with spelling, Josh? Oh, it's going to be a receipt. Oh. Gonna, hey, uh, let me, yeah, let me just uh, make sure that, uh, can I get that receipt for that? Receipt? Receipt. Like, it's it's not phonetic. It's It doesn't do you any favors. It does not help out anybody and just waste paper. Mick? Mm -hmm. uh, I struggle uh, phonetically and both in writing with supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody is just an yeah. arrogant prick. <laughs> Leo, what word do you struggle with? Um, I really struggle with exercise. Does the X go and then the C and where the C, the S, and the X? It kind of gets all flumbled in there for me. Oh, that's a very good one. This one, Wayne Ross says, a vacuum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> vacuum. Like a vacuum. We just put you into a vacuum and seal you in. That is very nice. I'm going to give everybody zero on that. The correct answer was truth. Everybody struggles, struggles with the word truth. Oh. Not an F in it, just to let everybody know. Found out that the other day. Guys, we've got a couple more questions in this round, and then we're going to move on to the next one. Do you think you could survive naked and afraid? That's my next question. We've had two naked sh questions on this show tonight, and this is going to be the second one. Do you think you could survive naked and afraid? I think I could. I think I could be naked in a desert and come out just looking like fantastic. I had a good time. How about you, Mick? Could you? Naked and Afraid was uh, really a summation of pre-sobriety. Oh. And uh, I have had to experience Naked and Afraid for almost 18 years now. Ah, oh, look at this. By the way, Jonathan piping up on the last one. I'm dyslexic. Uh, you just don't even play the last, the last question. We're talking about Naked and Afraid right now. That guy's just afraid and naked. That guy that guy's afraid and naked. Josh, how about you? Do you think you could survive the old naked and afraid? I do think I could because I'm very afraid when I have clothes on, and I think that puts me at an advantage because I like other people are are learn to deal with fear. I've been born into it. That's I, I would I would I would agree with you right there. If you're already afraid, naked's not going to make you go down yeah, another part. Who cares? Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna keep you on a level. I'm gonna give Josh the most points, and Leah hasn't even answered. I'm pretty sure she's like, Look, a lot of people like to see me naked, so I have to be very afraid. Okay, okay, Leah, what's your answer? I mean, you basically said it. I gotta go to Black's Beach if if, if we're filming. I'm gonna be afraid, that's for sure. But I'll only be naked on Black's Beach. Oh my god! So why why do they call it Black's Beach? Just out of curiosity. I don't know. Hmm. hmm. A lot of sundials down there. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I guess I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the zero response. So you don't know what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> it froze, oh. but I feel like that was we're good. It's everybody freeze. Everybody freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you guys were treating me like shit, and everybody froze at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's the end of round one. Round one was brought to you by Wayne Gretzky. I'm gonna show you a picture of Wayne Gretzky and why he sponsors this show. Wayne Gretzky is not aged well. Wayne Gretzky is the proud sponsor of Round the Bag, and we've been loving Wayne Gretzky since 1987. Remember, guys, have your vitamins, or you're gonna look like this. Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> Sponsor of Around the Bag. Good times. This is this is called Picket this round, guys. And by the way, the leader of that last round was Josh. Josh was the leader of that round. Mick was in second place. Leah was in third place with her dog yelling and her internet freezing. My goodness, she would have been up in second place, but her internet froze at the wrong time. 
<laughs> that is a good time right there. Hey guys, this is Kyle Pick, and I'm going to play a little bit of music behind this. There's a little bit of music. I'm going to play this. I'm going to start off with Mick, and then I'm going to go to Leah, and I'm going to go to Josh. Get ready. You pick one or two things. Don't freak out. A lot of people freak out during this, but don't freak out. Here it goes. Mick, you have to pick one of these two things. Shaq or Kobe? I got to go with Kobe. Rest in peace. Good for you. Leah, Jesus or Jesus? Oh, Jesus. Ah, yes, yes, yes. One of them is a much better carpenter. Get ready, Josh. Michael or LeBron? I get to go. I get to go with, uh, with LeBron. Hey, you had to, but then you almost went with the other one. I could tell you do. You know. You just stood up to show everybody how big his room is. Fantastic. I Look, I'm just going with project, the projected excellence of Space Jam movies, and I think LeBron is a better actor. Very. That's what we're talking about, the actors LeBron James and Michael Jordan, right? They are very good actors. Everybody should know who they are. They're fantastic. My God. I'm going to start the song again. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, here comes the next one. Starting with Mick, going to Leah, then on to Josh. Mick, hot or mild? Mm. Hot. Hot. Wow. Okay. Hot with a sting. And with a sting. Leah, mm -hmm. sweet or spicy? Oh, mm. I'm sweet. I'm sweet. Sweet. Uh, Josh, tapatia or Frank's red hot? Tapatia. Oh, my goodness. Last place for that one. Mick Betancourt out number one. Lee in the middle. Oh, the Franks was the real. Nom, nom, nom. Get ready. Here we come. Mick, we're moving on now. New or used? Used. Oh, I knew you were filthy. Get ready. <laughs> Comfort or style? What? Comfort or style? And please lean in if you don't hear me. Okay, well, it froze, and I don't know what those words are. So comfort, comfort C O M F O R T, or comfort. Oh, oh, oh. I know those words now. Oh my gosh, whatever it is, not Crocs. Not Crocs. That would be comfort right there. Ah, <laughs> Josh, shoes or boots? Shoes. Shoes. I would have been to you a lot sooner, but Leah's internet froze, and then she never heard of two words that I used. <laughs> Up front on that one, you and Mick tied for first place. Leah, third place on that one, and there wasn't Yay. even. Yes, god damn it. If you haven't heard of comfort or style, you are in third place on that one. I thought you said Humphreys or Stagger. Oh my goodness, you uh, have Humphreys. Humphreys, 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 Humphreys every time. Yeah, Humphreys, Humphreys 10 times out of 10, man. <laughs> See, I didn't know. <laughs> you don't even sound anywhere near with what I said. <laughs> yeah. I love you. I can tell why people want to see you naked. Here we go. <laughs> Mick, puss or vag? Puss or vag? Oh. Humphreys or Skidigam? <laughs> I got to go with the Humphreys puss. <laughs> puss. Puss is always the best one to go with. Get ready. Leah, balls or sack? Ew. Well... Both bad, but sack is worse. So by default, balls. Balls is better than sack. Josh, dong or dick? Dick. Yes, you can't call a guy a dong. Doesn't ever work out. Just sounds like mm. he's waiting for a dong or dick. Leah, you can't get mad and be like, suck my dong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sounds like something that was used in the Catholic Church. <laughs> my dong. Mick Betancourt, Josh tied for that one because Leah's in first place. Oh, on that one, first place, Leah. Here we go. Mick, New York or Los Angeles? New York, 100%. Ooh, Ooh Leah. Whoa. Leah, get ready for this one. I'm going to use English again. Paris or London? Paris, uh, je parle un peu français, mais oh, je te oh, dis oh, français oh. pour trois ans de l'école, mais... Mm, very nice. Je m'appelle Ian is what I'm going to say on that one. Ah, oui, oui je m'appelle Ian. Oui, yeah. uh, Josh, Toronto or Vancouver? Toronto. Oh, son of a bitch. Last place, Mick out front. Leah, second place. My goodness, Josh, Mick, Toronto over Vancouver. A lot of people are going to go nuts tonight later on when they watch this on a repeat. They're just going to, what the fuck the hell is he talking about? God damn it, Vancouver so good. Get ready, Mick. Costco or Sam's Club? Costco. 
Oh, mm. Leah. HBO or Showtime? HBO, Sex in the City forever. Ooh, oh, so, oh, you're one of those? Are you watching that other, The Girl is Stuck in Paris or whatever the early one is? Are you watching I that? am watching it, yeah. My wife is making me watch that one. I'm learning a lot. Uh, <laughs> it's Josh, cute. Josh Hustler or Playboy? Playboy. Playboy. Mm, for the articles. Classy. For the articles. Hustler is for <laughs> the body parts. That is fantastic. I'm going to say you're all tied on that one. And the winner... <gasps> That one would be, let's see, let's see. I'm going to do the math. 17, check with the judges over there. 32, no winner on that one. Everybody tied. I apologize. That round was fantastic. And it was brought to you by Wayne Gretzky, one of the sexiest motherfuckers in the 80s. Wayne Gretzky, he's going to look through you. Wayne Gretzky, proud sponsor for Around the Back. Guys, we're moving into the last <laughs> round. Very exciting round. This is called Trivia. Everybody at home, get ready to play this. Everybody at home, get ready to play this. Get ready. Josh, you're going to go against Leah on this first one. Get ready. Get ready, Josh. Leah, head to head. The first one to answer this right will get the point. Josh, Leah, Leah, Josh. The question is, what was Nicole Polizzi's, Polizzi's nickname on the Jersey Shore? Snooky. Snooky. Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, Leah came in flying in hard there. Her internet worked that time, and she understood <laughs> what I said. She said Snooky. Good point by Leah. Mick, you're going to go against Josh on this one. You're going to go against Josh on this one. That'll be the first question for Mick. That'll be the second question for Josh. He's now stretching. He's getting into this. He is ready to win this. So be ready, Mick. Got your thinking cap on. Here is the question. How many time zones? Oh, my goodness. How many time zones does the Earth have? 24? Mmm, Josh, I'm hoping Mick's frozen, but he's not. He just doesn't know. 124. Nope, nope, Josh. Uh, Mick, it's, it's, it was 24, but it has to come out really quickly. It has to come out really quickly. You can't think 24. about it. 24. 24, and that is correct. That is what Josh said. Josh, one point. Leah, one point. Mick, zero point. Here we go. Here we go. Leah versus Mick. Leah versus Mick. Guys, get ready for this. This is the first time you two have been head-to-head -head on this one. This is a very exciting time for you both. Get ready. Here's the question. What is a group of porcupines called? Porcupus. Oh, very close. <laughs> Porcupine. Nope. Porcupod. Nope. Josh, if you want to get involved, you can get involved as well and take the point away from these two guys that have no oh, idea what's going on. A on quiver. A porcupine. Uh, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Porcupine. Porcupine. Pals. Porcupine. Pals. Porcupine. Pals. Oh, it's very, it's, it's, it's a single thing. It's oh. a, da, 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 da. sometimes when you fall into a bush, it has a thorn and you get a, a prick, a prickle. Prickle. Josh gets the point. Leah, of course, pervert. Leah just said a prick for no apparent reason. God, she falls into a bush and gets a cock. That was weird. That was just fucking <laughs> weird as hell. Uh -huh. By the way, I know you're young. You probably have no idea. A brick is called a cock back in the 80s. We used to go. <laughs> anyway, just thought I'd let you know that. Very young. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Guys, ready? this is between all of you. By the way, Josh has two points. Mick has zero. Leah has one. My God. This is the way we thought this game would go, but differently. Anyways, let's mm. continue. Here's the question for everybody. First one to answer this question. We'll get it right. What year was cocaine removed from Coca-Cola? 1914. Mm, very close. Two other people in this. They can play along. You can use your internet. Please don't feel 1922. like... 1922. 1922 is so close. Off by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years. If you could come up with that one, you might 1929. be... 1929. 1929. Leah just keeps yelling out numbers until she got the right number. Fantastic, Leah. I'm a witch. Just to let you know, in our house, it still hasn't come out. <laughs> yeah, you can put it back in yourself. <laughs> You're allowed to come back in. That was very, it's very easy to put it back in. People will get mad at you, but you can put it back in. Mm -hmm. Guys, here's a nice question, and this is for all of you. We all have these, so I'm pretty sure somebody will answer this question right without me having to help. Jonathan. Jonathan just answered 1932. We've been done that question for at least <laughs> years. Just to let you know, Jonathan, thank you for playing along, though. Here we go. Here's the question. What is the biggest size bed you can purchase? What is California the King? Oh, Josh just comes flying out like a rich man compared to these two broke sons of bitches and lets them know I've got a bigger bed than you'll ever have. That is correct. California King is the answer. My God. I've heard of people being comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard. Comfort? What's Comfort. that? 
Humphrey. <laughs> oh. I heard of people being Humphrey. Oh, oh got it. <laughs> Hubert, Hubert Humphreys. Here's the last question. The one that answers this question right will be the winner tonight and will become my BFF for the next week. That prize will include many text messages, many phone calls, <laughs> me and you, and you can enjoy them every night at 4 a.m. for the next seven days. Get ready. Here comes. Mm. I know you guys are going to try hard at this one. Leah, get involved. <laughs> what is the first element on the periodic table? Hydrogen? Whoa, Josh, guess what? We're best friends for the week. I thought it was going to be me making it for quite a while, but Josh says, I can know that question right now. That is right. Hydrogen. Leah, I don't know if you know about hydrogen, but it makes your voice comfortable. <laughs> My God. Oh, this show is moving like molasses. I feel like Josh first... cheated. He yeah. said he was a nerd in high school. Yeah, and now We're it's paying <laughs> I've been waiting for the moment that knowing the periodic table would make me a friend for 20 you cheated. years. You cheated. Uh, great job. A <laughs> great job was said by Wayne Roth. <laughs> Jonathan, yes. says, maybe I just type slow. And Timothy says $4.99 for no apparent reason. And then <laughs> I showed up. He said, hey, sorry, I'm late to the party. Cody, I want to introduce you to all our guests tonight. Uh, Leah here, you can find her on the internet. Mick, you can find on the internet. Josh, you can find on the internet. Tell. Guys, that's your new stalker. That's Cody. Cody's your new stalker. I thought he wasn't here tonight, and I thought you guys were going to get away with not having a stalker. By the way, Josh is the winner tonight. Thank you for dropping by, everybody. Oh. I know that everybody thinks that they're a loser after Josh winning, but really, everybody that comes on the show is a loser. Josh, not just you two. So thank you for being on Around the Bag. We'll be back again next week when somebody else tries to become my best friend. Oh, my God. I have to find. There it is. End the broadcast. Good night, everybody, from Around the Bag.